Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing um, you all how you guys can turn on developer mode on a Chromebook. So let's get into it. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do for the developer mode is you guys are going to go on the keyboard. As you can see right here. And you guys are going to press or hold down the escape, refresh, and the power button. Once you guys have done that, you guys will be sent to this screen. You guys will be sent to this screen where it says like it's damaged or stuff. Don't worry guys, you just press um, CTRL or Control D like that. And then um, you guys will be sent, oh man, it's, that's weird, but whatever. You guys will be sent to this, uh, screen where it says, um, stuff, um, but it says press enter. You guys are actually going to press enter right here. But guys, if you press enter, this will erase all of your data. That's that's one warning. So if you have like an intro saved to your files or stuff like that, then it'll all disappear. So this so by pressing enter, it erases all of your data. Okay. So once you press enter, it'll shut down and I think it'll reboot. Then you'll be sent to this screen, and it'll say human ver it'll say ver verification verification is off, and then you just you can you just um, on Asus Chromebook you just wait thirty seconds and it'll make two loud beeps, but on Acer Chromebook you can just press Control D to skip it or wait thirty seconds. I just waited thirty seconds because when I press Control D. It made like a really loud beeping sound. So, once you guys have waited 30 seconds, you guys will be hearing two very loud beeps. It will be like, and then your computer will, or your, your Chromebook will shut off and it will reboot one last time, I think. That's what I learned. And then, once it reboots, um, I think, uh, I think you guys are going to be sent to another screen, but, um, uh, and yeah, guys, I, it'll be exciting for your very first time to enable developer mode on a Chromebook, and, uh, yeah, so once, once you guys have done that, you guys are going to enter in your personal information. Because it'll say what welcome, howdy, or like what is your Wi-Fi password and stuff. So you guys have to be stay out for that. Because it'll say what is your Wi-Fi password and then uh, what is your Google account. Because it'll lost all of the data. So you guys have to be careful with that. And by the way, guys, this does not give any uh, damage to your Chromebook, it just it just turns on a mode which you can't turn on in the settings. So uh, yeah, and once you've turned on your personal information, if you go check your files, as you can see, everything is lost. As you can see, everything is lost. But guys, but there's a but. This does not lose your YouTube channel. This does not, well, yeah, this does not lose your YouTube channel, but this loses all your apps and all your files. So you have to do it all over again. But if you have Screencast, or, uh, that's why Screencast is good, because, like, if every time you, um, uh, rinse off, like, or just like every time you um, do like lose the data, then um, then it'll like then um, once you lose like all of the data, 
then it'll like um it'll just like still be there and then maybe you guys have to like wait one day and then all of your apps will be back but maybe i just downloaded this all but yeah guys that's basically how you turn on developer mode on a chromebook i hope you all enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and join my team team extreme by subscribing and i'll see you all in the next one and guys don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications and subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to my other channel the burning arrow gaming and i'll see you all in the next one peace